Hey, this is Joe, and I just want to thank you for uh, helping me get to 100 subscribers. And every time I hit one of these powers of 10 milestones for subscribers, I think it's important to look at how I can potentially better my content. In other words, how can I upgrade from Josie Math 1.0 to Josie Math 2.0? And for this particular milestone, I think it's important I try and upgrade my quality going forward. In other words, I've been using primarily PowerPoint to make my slides. I've been using GeoGebra to make my graphs. And I've been using Adobe Premiere to kind of edit and put everything together. What I feel like I'm missing out on are other potential softwares that allow us to visualize math in better ways. So I'd like to think that the tool set that I used for my previous videos, we can consider Josie Math 1.0. And for Josie Math 2.0, I want to find a way to incorporate Wolfram Alpha into some of my videos in order to show students how they can help themselves when they're working with their homework without anyone else. I also want to incorporate MATLAB because I think that you can make some really beautiful visualizations or graphs within MATLAB. And finally, I want to use Manum. And so the first five softwares I mentioned maybe you've heard of, but this Manum one I'm sure you haven't. So let me talk a little bit about Manum. Manum was created by Grant Sanderson. He's a math YouTuber who really spends a lot of time making beautiful visualizations of very difficult math concepts on his channel, Three Blue, One Brown. And so if you've never heard of him, I really recommend you check out this YouTube channel, Three Blue, One Brown. And so, because this was my first night using Manum, I really only made two small examples to show you what Manum can kind of look like. And for one example, I can take one expression and simplify it and replace it with, with a simplified form. And with another example, I can create shapes and then transform them to other shapes as well. In fact, this entire video I made using just Manum, or at least I made the transitions using Manum. My typical gray highlights comes from Adobe Premiere and so I did that after I recorded the voice. And so I'm really excited about how I could use Manum and these other softwares to help elevate the quality of my videos. I'm Joe and thanks for spending some time with me.